Hi, my name is Garrett Klein. I'm an application engineer with Quest Integration. Today I want to talk to you about an exciting technology that will allow you to bring almost any object directly into SolidWorks. SolidWorks is a great tool for creating new designs, however it can be difficult sometimes to bring existing de designs into SolidWorks. 3D scanners and CMM machines can be expensive and difficult to use, as well as require extensive training. The technology I'm going to show you today is simple and free and easy to use. The technology is called photogrammetry. Stick with me for the next few minutes and I'll show you a little bit about it. To demonstrate photogrammetry for you guys, I have a real customer part. They were kind enough to drop it off for me so I can show you how photogrammetry works. Essentially what we will do is take our camera and make a scan of the object. In this case, a stove leg. To start, we'll take as many different pictures as we can from as many different angles as we can reach, making sure that the full part is in each shot and it is in focus. Once I have all of my images, I can use my photogrammetry software. In this case, I used a software called Colmap. It's free, uh, however, there are multiple options out there. Some will even work directly on your phone. Since there are so many options, each with its own unique functionality, we will look at photogrammetry in the simplest of terms. These programs are able to take images and map them around in a virtual environment and find common reference points. Typically, they will also produce a mesh file automatically during this process. A little tip here, when working with large meshes, they can be very resource intensive. So you may wanna try lowering your mesh quality settings or using an editor like MeshLab to simplify your, or clean up your mesh before importing it directly into SOLIDWORKS. I simply used automatic reconstruction with Colmap and it was able to produce a PLY format for me. I can import it as either a graphics body or a mesh body type in SOLIDWORKS 2018. I can also use the new mesh slicing tools in SOLIDWORKS 2019. However, the import process will depend on what you're trying to do with the file. The customer who let me borrow this part would like to have surfaces and solid bodies generated from the mesh. To do this, we just need to turn on scan to 3D and work some magic. Start with the mesh prep wizard. This will allow me to fix the orientation and smooth the mesh. We can clean up and fill any holes in the mesh and then use the curve and surface generation tools as needed. I would like to say photogrammetry does have some quirks. Extra care needs to be taken with shiny or glossy surfaces. Lighting can also affect the quality of the results. But considering you already have everything you need, don't you think you should give it a shot? So now you know you can use SOLIDWORKS and photogrammetry to expand your design capabilities. We saw that SOLIDWORKS has actually had some great tools for quite a while that are just underutilized, like scan to 3D, as well as some new exciting tools like the mesh body tools. Keep in mind that you may want to use this for 3D printing or you may want to bring in something to make some nice pictures for marketing. I'm really excited to see what you do with this technology. Keep in mind, if you can take a picture of it, you can get a model. Let me know in the comments what you're planning on doing with photogrammetry. Thanks for watching. If you don't have SolidWorks Professional or SolidWorks Premium and want to give Scan to 3D a try, contact us and we'd be more than happy to help get you started.